Hi uh, guys and welcome back to Marcus RS and my Banking 99 Invention series. Um, I am so excited for this part and you'll see why shortly. So this video is a progress video, number three out of the series and it's the time where I then show you the um, checklist of items for my 100 augments and 100 siphons. So let's start with that then. So as you can see on screen now we've got the base, tensile and flexible parts all complete and powerful components complete. There was one thing I didn't add to the checklist at the time, I didn't really think it was important but that's because I already had the parts but it is important for you guys to be able to follow a checklist that makes sense. So here it is, the simple parts and the simple parts require 50 per siphon so if I want 100 I need 5000 of these parts so from there I have completed the simple parts like I told you if you would like a, a tutorial video on this then please let me know and I will do that for you no problem I've already got the footage there um, to go so I don't mind doing that and from there onwards dexterous as you can see in the video the last video um, I have completed that and since then I've collected all the gems from the NPCs for uh, my enhancing target um, and also if you want to watch that video in terms of how I got my enhancing components then uh, please look through the series and it's, it's in there somewhere. But now I, I feel so relieved to be able to say this uh, that I have completed my checklist for my goal which is going to see me get uh, 99 invention in the future. So what I'm saying is this sort of concludes the end of this series um, <laughs> which is awesome. It means I can then move on to the next part. However, even though this series is ending I will still post out invention videos in terms of uh, guidance and uh, anything else that might be of interest. But for now all that needs to happen is uh, for us to finally go and make the hundred uh, augments and siphons so I'll give you a breakdown of my plans to achieve um, my invention goal as well uh, based on what happens now so let's just make our way over to Falador to the invention guild okay so I'm here now at the uh, invention guild and I'm about to go and make my 100 siphons and augments I am so excited for this I, you don't understand how excited. <laughs> um, so, I'll show you the kind of uh, parts I had when I started this. So, 5,791, only needed 4,500, um, 14,989, again 4,500, only needed 4,500 of these, I've got 21,000, Enhancing only needed 800, so I've got that. And powerful only needed uh, 700, and I've got 900. So that's for the augments, and for the siphons, I've got my 5,000 simple parts that I needed, and also needed 500 in dexterous and precious. So that's it, and then obviously you still need to use charges but I've got quite a lot saved up in my bank, maybe about 300 charges and quite a lot already stored um, on the items so I also like I told you made, made sure I had another 2000 simple parts so then I can make another 100 of these if needed uh, which require energy as well so I've got the correct amount of energy to make all of my uh, augments uh, let's go ahead and start making them Four hundred and ninety five XP, nice. I should really get my diviner's outfit for this and get some XP. Eh, why not? Why don't we do that? Uh, I assume the rest of it will be with old trusty Diango, the elf version. 
let's just say if you get any XP for doing this, then uh, at least you guys know as well that you can also gain bonus XP for it. It's not going to be a lot, but it's, you know, it's something. Every little helps. But I will be getting around 50k XP just from doing these um, uh, augments. And we're back. Oh, you don't realise how happy I am to see these being made. Oh, it means I can finally get on with my life. <laughs> it takes some time to make though. No wonder no one else is, is doing this. <laughs> oh, um, also, I should probably tell you the pricing of the energies to make these as well. So. The, I'm using incandescent energy which is a pretty good price to use them um, the same as uh, radiant uh, and lustrous they were all probably the best options for for the time of, of when I'm playing this game the actual cost for me to use these uh, seven almost 7.3 mil um, based on the gun exchange price at the time I bought them uh, which wasn't too long ago it was near the end of December 2017, so the cost, f so the cost for each one, is uh, just under 73k per augment. God, these take so long to make. Some good XP though, you know, why not? Oh, I so don't hope the siphons take this long. <laughs> Okay, so uh, equipment siphon time. Let's go. I can't work out if this is quicker. It seems quicker. I think it is quicker. It's half the time. Yes. Okay, so now I've made my 100 equipment siphons and augments. It's uh, time for me to show you an idea of what I plan to do. Um, with these with within the PVM so if you'd like more information on on this in terms of what I'm doing and it might help you in understanding the XP ratios then uh, see me in part two of this due to the fact that my videos seem to be very long recently and uh, they can't be longer than 15 minutes so uh, yeah if you do want to see the next part then uh, have a look at the series and you'll find it there thank you